So, um, you've spoken about past exam papers and the importance of that. Would you add any um, details or tips for people who, who might use that as part of their revision? Well, um, it is uh, absolutely crucial these days in terms of using past exam papers because um, the exams, they don't get significantly uh, different uh, in terms of the questions. They ask them in a different way. Uh, and they expect slightly different outcome. It is absolutely crucial that past exam papers are used. Um, they can be used together in conjunction with the mark scheme, but um, you have to be very, very careful with the way you use it. Just looking at the past, uh, at the past questions and going straight for the mark scheme wouldn't achieve anything. You need to actually sit down, forget about the mark scheme, sit down, look at the questions, think about it, write down your answer, consult the textbook before actually looking at the mark scheme. So that's very important when uh, making the best use of uh, uh, past exams. And, and just lastly, um, do you have any thoughts for people who are going through their exams at the moment or who are currently uh, you know, sitting exams right now? Yeah. I mean, um, one thing I like to say is don't give up. Um, if you are in the middle of your exams, uh, there is still a lot that can be done. And if you are so lucky that it happens to be close to something like the half term, or you have a bank holiday in the middle of it, um, actually taking out two or three days and being able to hone in on the papers you've got to sit can improve your results significantly in those papers. So make the best of it if you're in the middle of it. The experience you've gained from doing your first set of papers in terms of your feeling, how you've timed your revision process or what have you, you ought to use it to inform mm -hmm. yourself in preparing uh, for the later stage of the examinations. And, and do you have any, uh, do you offer anything for, for parents or for students who might be looking to do something just over uh, in between now and the summer break at all? Oh, oh yes indeed we do. I mean all the um, school holidays, half term, Christmas, yes we do. And uh, uh, what it consists of is usually between 14 to 16 hours of studies when they study for four mornings or four mm -hmm. afternoons uh, concentrating on a particular subject and it's actually it is a very good way of um, improving grades because we're talking about picking up I don't know extra 10 or so marks which will make a difference uh, in terms of grade boundaries um, in the last minute so um, student can you know make the best of the time I mean what I'll advise is there are so many providers you don't have to spend money to attend revision classes, but please do something, do something. And if you do, you don't have to come to us. There's so many providers, but actually revising during that period can make all the difference. So you think that your programs and, and, and boosters and, and, and revision programs can make the difference between, say, a B and an A grade, perhaps? Indeed, they, they are very effective. They are very effective. I mean, they're usually very small classes. We're talking about in some cases as small as four, but mm -hmm. we don't usually have more than about six students. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the idea of actually sitting down with, with our teacher, uh, it's usually led by the specifications and the exam the students have got to take next. next. And uh, believe me, the 14 to 16 hours of study over a period of four days. We spread ours in such a way that uh, students have more time to absorb uh, the material. So it, it does help. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. My pleasure.